hello welcome back to my youtube channel it's dawn here so today i'm with you i thought we'd do some watercoloring um so this is some watercolor cardstock that i actually got from um tiger i haven't been to tiger for about two years i seriously need to go um my daughter is moving we are planning a good weekend so it means that hopefully if tiger is still open although i have a feeling that kate may have told me tiger is shut um but if it's still open i need to go i need to go or i need to find one that's near anyway um so i bought this about three years ago from tiger um and it's just their watercolor card uh, stock it was two pounds i think or maybe three pounds and you know what it's actually not that bad um so there's 20 sheets in it and it's 300 gsm and it is actually surprisingly well i don't know why it's surprising but yeah it is really really nice now i've just realized we haven't got oh yes we have so let's grab a little bottle let's grab some paint brushes so i'm just gonna grab a few <laughs> And I thought I'm going to paint, um, colour up our lovely um, Alicia. So let's do Alicia. Um, and I thought how nice would it be if we made just a very simple quick card using these um, gorgeous, gorgeous stamps. I haven't had these stamps out in forever. So it is, it does, sorry, it is, it does, it is, <laughs> it does feel absolutely fab to actually have them and to have a play again so i have that uh, i need an acrylic block so let's stick her on there um and then i am going to use my versafine versafine eclair um so let's pop that on so this is really good for watercolor um for watercoloring um yeah just in general <laughs> right I'm gonna stick a sort of quite in the middle because I'm wanting to make like a little scene that hopefully we can sit on a card so push that down I'm hoping I've got enough ink on there because the one thing about um watercolor paper is it is not smooth it has got a texture to it so you'll find oh I moved that there that was a bit silly of me so you'll find that you won't get a great impression um, unless you've got a really, really nice a juicy ink pad like this. Like I'm doing it again because that is terrible. Absolutely shocking. So let's try this again, shall we? And hopefully this time not move it. So give the chance for that ink to soak into your paper. That is definitely a must with this. Um, much better much much better um but yeah i just fancy doing just a little bit of water coloring and um, i fancy using these which are my novel pens so these are the aquaflow pens and i'm sort of regretting my decision now just to fling them on my desk because now where am i going to put them so let's move these actually do you know what we're gonna do let's put her back on here and because i'm thinking shall we use her as a palette hmm that is the question move that out the way let's put all of them up there all of them up there so these are um the nouveau watercolor pens and i've been wanting to have a good play with them and what better to do than with um yeah with these stamps i'm actually thinking maybe i should have left this to um dry a little but yeah impatient guys i'm so impatient um oh they're so juicy so so juicy so you can just color in like i'm doing which actually is really really nice oh that is lovely um or we can add water to it and make it like more of a watercolor effect but yeah let's let's just have a play what color is this oh wild haven't got a clue because i cannot read it why did they do that why do we have the names that are just really hard to read um for people who have dyslexia come on guys think of some names that are not as bad as that because there must be some um, you must be able to think of something better surely right 
Well, they are blending out lovely. So I have to admit, I'm liking that. Right, I'm just going to put my shading in. So, like this. Um, I'm just going to squeeze a little bit more ink out. Oh, I say a little bit more and then I absolutely soak it because that's what we do, of course. Okay. And then, grabbing my water. I have no idea, guys. I'm sort of... I am definitely an amateur when it comes, is that the right word? When it comes to watercolouring, but I have to say, oh my word, I love it. It is one of my favourite things. It's so relaxing. And if you're wanting to colour something really, really quickly, then watercolouring is definitely the way forward. Um, highly suggest these stamps um, and it's not just that I'm on the design team but if you're wanting to do something like practice with watercolouring and your shading and stuff there's so much room in there for you to actually um, you know colour in and add different colours and blend and stuff so there's so much open space for you to actually colour so definitely definitely a good stamp to start with but any stamp that has um yeah any stamp that does like have a big open space it's definitely good for practicing your watercoloring techniques now i'm making the underscore a bit darker how gorgeous does that look i think it looks amazing right i really like that guys I absolutely love it so I just want to bring in a little bit of water down there yeah oh she looks fabulous doesn't she absolutely fabulous so um oh I've got a bit on here let's use what's on our palette so we can use it um these as a palette as well which is really really nice right let me grab I need to grab a cloth down just to take off the excess um, water from my brush so you'll find that that really helps um, as well with your with shading and stuff um, okay so there's that bit on and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the colour just intensify that colour just a little bit just in my little shaded areas so yes I like that right what colour should we have this bit this bit. Oh, what about this? Can we read this one? A cameo pink. Oh, it's more to me. That is more like a dusky pink, which is perfect because I love my dusky pink. That's actually a beautiful, beautiful colour. Um, yeah, that is really, really pretty. So again, I'm just going to bring that out um, just so that we have it. I may need a little bit. I don't like pushing on these too hard because I feel like I'm just going to end up wasting the ink. See, loads came up then. So let's mix that up because like I say, we want our dark areas, so our shaded areas and then we just want it to nicely blend into the rest. Um, and you can, with your paintbrush, lift some of that pigment if you've got a bit too much on. I like that. Right, I'm going to do the same colour for her legs I have to say I think I'm probably the only one that I never ever do like stripey tights or anything I always do it as one colour um yeah I don't know why it's just something that um I do do you know what there's a lot of dogs I don't can you hear that there's a lot of dogs barking today they are not mine which is a first as most of you know lady is a little bit of a nightmare but yeah oh should we go with this um grenadine red i can sort of read that although i'm not liking the look of that just come on i'm just thinking for the um just for the the hearts let's put that on so i'm just putting literally touches touches of it I am, I have to say, I am liking these. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have been 
purchasing a lot of watercolour pens lately. I am a little bit obsessed and I'm loving the fact that we've got loads of different um, brands now. And all the different brands do different, well they don't do, yeah, they do different things or they have the pigments um, a different strength or you know there's, they've got, they've all got their own sort of little qualities um, that I really really like. Um, so I'm really enjoying having an experiment. I mean I've got my watercolours, I've got my Winsor & Newton. I am actually looking at getting, is it Gamby? Oh, I can't say it. It's one of those really long words, like weird words. But I, I, I look at them. They are expensive. I'm not going to lie, but I really do like them. So maybe on my uh, kitchen list. <laughs> oh wow! Well, on my um, my oh, help me out, guys. Christmas list. There we go. Oh, how gorgeous is that? Doesn't she look beautiful? Do you know what? I think I'm going to have the the um the flowers of this color as well so i'm just dabbing it on um so these work really nicely as well i have to keep an eye on the time because i'm sort of quickly filming um a video before i go live tonight and i haven't even set up for the live but um yeah i just i just got carried away really i really wanted to have a play with um my new watercolors and yeah, so I just thought I'd come on with you guys and we do it together. Right, so, um, what was he saying? Can you remember what I was saying? Because I can't remember. I sort of, yeah, went off track there, didn't I, a little bit. But yeah, I am really, really enjoying my watercolours at the moment. Um, I just love having a play with them. And you know, I mean, I've got um, these ones, which are the Aquaflow markers. These are from b &M. It's £6 for 12, which you cannot go wrong at all. Whereas for three of these, it's like £12. But I did get these in the sale. I never, if I can help it, I never pay a full price for anything. But I've been getting them for, I think it's £3.78 for three markers so i've got quite a good little stash now so um i've got enough colors that i i really don't feel like i need to buy any more colors so i have them and then i've got a really um i've got a hundred piece set that uh, my first ever ones which actually i'll have to get out um so um was it yeah um that were 20 pounds and i also have some ones that people have gifted me as well so i've got some that i know from Lidl because my mum told me um but i also got some off my really good friends as well and you know i absolutely love all of them the only ones that i'm not sort of um like a big fan of is i would say the um the set of 100 but what i think i might do is actually get them out and try them again because when i first started um mixed media and experimenting and stuff they were the first ones i bought and and to be honest i had no idea what i was doing i still don't have a huge idea of what i'm doing i have more of an idea on how things work um from experimenting so i'm i'm thinking that maybe if we just have like um you know like a um get them out and have another play knowing um especially having more knowledge now that what i have i've got echoline pens as well so i know oh god just julia she loves her echoline pens um i've got a couple of faber castell ones now they are on my list to get because they are divine um like i said there's i only want them i think because of the brand <laughs> that's terrible isn't it right as you can see i'm not very good at doing hair yet um i've got so much like so much practice to do but i think she's looking gorgeous i've just realized was it just peachy or was it i think it was vanilla sunday wasn't it that we did for the skin so um i missed her neck out so let's color her neck in right eye color guys what oh i need the um I think it was that colour for this so that'll do we'll just mix a little bit of that in why not so it's got a bit of all the different colours in it gorgeous now I need a yellow 
So the yellow is just going to sit in there. I'm not going to bother watercoloring this because it's it's such a small a small area that yeah we don't think we need to. Right now, eye colour. What colour are we going to do her eyes? Part of me wants to do the purple, and part of me wants to do the same colour as dress. But I've just read the name of this, and we're doing it purple because the, the colour is indigo dawn. So it's got my name in. So I've just put a tiny little bit. She looks like she's, <laughs> she's cross-eyed. Oh, I am sorry, Alyssa. Come on, let's get you sorted, right? way too much water on this brush so let's get the water off the brush and off the page so like I said this is a good thing about watercolouring you can actually take the pigment up um, yeah by just dabbing it off oh look at that yeah I like it I like it a lot how gorgeous is that right oh oh now that is super juicy now I know I've just wasted a lot of ink there which is oh so scary but that is I don't want that to happen every time we yeah we open it so let's see if we can do sync about this so I'm just gonna actually what if I'm just gonna suck it up there we go so that'll be fine because I'm gonna I, we'll just cut her out wasn't what I was planning on doing but you know things do change right um now I've still got these little flowers just around here which I've just spotted so let's get them colored in okay like so and then the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted just to pop um, a bit of color in on the um the buttons so right just yeah Okay, oh, we've chopped another little bit here, just down this side. So, um, I'm just like sort of trying to work it out, but never mind. Right, okay, so there is that. What I'm going to do, I, do you know, I really like them. They're very, very pigmented, I have to say. Um, I'm looking for my pencil case, there is. Yeah, very pigmented, absolutely love them. And I think these are gonna last for a very long time, which is just absolutely awesome. Um, so yeah, really, really pleased with them. Um, and like I said, I've got enough colors now that I'm happy. I've got um, sort of one color of each. And the good thing about watercoloring is you don't need lots of different tones because by watering the pigment down gives you your different tones. So um, it's another good thing about, and it's a really good way of actually practicing your shading as well. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this out. Okay. So oh, look at that, it stains my hands. Like I said, I've got a, <laughs> I've got a live soon and I decided that oh, it's, it's because, see, I was looking for stuff to do and then I thought, oh, do you know what? I really want to work with um, Hattie's clan because um, I've been seeing lots of inspiration lately off all the girls on over on Julia's Facebook group. Now, I'm terrible. I should be sharing quite a lot and I don't, I always forget. Um, so... And I've been seeing such beautiful inspiration, but not only from the other design team members, but from you guys as well, from using the gorgeous, gorgeous stamps um, and sharing your makes as well. So please do continue to share your makes because honestly, you've really inspired me today to get these stamps out and to have a play. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for sharing. Um, your incredible mix because honestly there is so much talent out there you guys are just amazing yeah I I don't know why you're not on YouTube or, but you are all absolutely fabulous so yeah love love seeing your work um, so I'm just going to continue to go around this and actually I was thinking oh this is going to be quite hard to fussy cut out but actually this is one of the easier ones and plus it's me I fussy cut I love fussy cutting and I always fussy cut really like a lot um, so yeah right I'm going to just go round and round 
right nearly there and then so we're sort of going in a different direction to what I was going to go in um, so what I think I'll do is I'm going to get my scraps out my scrap paper box um, so all of the like patterned paper so not the um, oh, uh, not my oh, solid col colours uh, my patterned paper I'm going to keep these two bits because we can use them we don't waste if we can help it so let's see what is in here that we can use oh look at that perfect there's my sentiment sorted how perfect was that oh I quite like that as well um what else do we have so I have so much in here oh I like that as well that watercolor um that might be nice that's oh, Christmas oh good sneeze oh am I gonna sneeze Oh, that was a season. I think I am. No, I'm not. Yes, I, no. Yes, no. I don't know. Oh, I quite like that as well. Right, okay. So let's let's build up our card. Right, I'm just going to move that out off to the side. I am going to go in my drawer and get a card base out. I have lots and lots because I've been prepping all day. Um, I need my trimmer. And I'm super excited because I have the smallest trimmer coming from Tonic Studios, which is excellent. So I'm going to put this down to four by uh, so five and three quarters, uh, four by five and three quarters. Yeah, that's right. And that should fit on nicely on there, and it does. I'm then going to come in with this pink one. Oh, my nose feels like it's blocked. Um, it's got all funny. Am I talking funny? I bet you're all laughing. It feels really funny. It feels like there's something up my nose. Now. Oh dear. I don't think I'm going to sneeze, but it just, feel, it just feels really odd. Really odd. And then we're going to have that one. And then we're going to have this one. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> oh dear, honestly. Um, and then five and a quarter by three and a half. So there we go. Excellent. Um, let me put that back. And then all of these are patterned bits could go back in my scrap box. And yeah, so let's start sticking. So I'm just going to use my art glitter glue for this. So I'll turn that over and I'm just going to glue this down oh poor little la ladies just jump so the doggies are behind me bless them um so they it's just way too hot I mean poor lady she wants to go for a w now I can't say the word so a w a l k if I say it then she'll get all excited but it's just too hot the pavements are still really hot and it, it's just I don't I don't want her to get pause burnt or anything so you know it's better for her not to have a walk um than have a walk and be injured so um so yeah I'm not quite sure with oh I like that side <laughs> actually uh, I, do you know what I don't like that bit that's better we'll just oh no that, yeah anyway <laughs> So yeah, so poor little thing. She's been hounding me for about an hour to take her because it's we normally take her after tea. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, not today, princess. So she's going to sulk with me all evening. But if only she knew I was doing it for the right reasons. Right. Um, do you know what? Because I've just had that funny little thing with my nose. We're going to have I'm Not Crazy, just so that I can sort of let you all know that I'm definitely not crazy. <laughs> My reality is just different to yours. And that's my excuse that I'm sticking to it. I still feel it's something like that. It's like, um, you know when you, you, you dive off the diving board and, and you, you sort of, I don't know, water goes up your nose and it's like that sort of funny, funny feeling. It feels like that. I think I've got hair fever or something, you know. I do. Oh dear. Anyway, I hope, <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this video. I think I've gone mad. I really do think I've gone mad. Right, okay, I'm just going to glue our gorgeous, gorgeous girl down. So, 
so let's get Alicia all stuck so she is just gonna go there oh doesn't she look beautiful actually that's turned out to be a really nice card and then because this isn't standing out as nicely as I wanted it to I'm just wondering if I do you know what? I'm going to mat it onto that blue why not um so because yeah we have it there we may as well use it um actually I should move that over but never mind it is what it is right okay so I'm just going to cut this bit off and then I'm going to cut around it now the good thing about this I'm not looking for perfection with my cutting skills on this at all um, which is just awesome much better so that's um, and that's part of the beauty of it so um, she changes position straight away but yeah I just feel there um, so yeah um, I just I don't know I think sometimes quirky is nice isn't it but also I think sometimes it's nice not having that much going on with colors and things so yeah this is actually quite muted for me when I'm playing with them um, with our lovely Julia's stamps so but yeah thank you everybody so much for your inspiration not just with um Julia's stamps but with everything you guys are fabulous so please do carry on sharing with us I put glue on but I'm not 100% sure where it's gonna go let's pop it there right okay last thing that i'm going to do for this card um is i'm just going to grab my gem box out and i'm going to grab some gems i need my uh picky up tool if i can see it there it is i got a new one i think i must have said it in about 50 videos okay there and there so I'm going to go with pink so let's just stick with the same colour it'll be there'll be slightly different shades of pink but yeah um there we go oh I like that I like that a lot so I'm going to put that back in there put it back in my little pot and push that back down I mean yep so oh, that's just stuck in there but we can use it for something else so I'm just going to pop these um, back in my scraps bin so that um, they can be used again on another day and yeah so there you go guys that is my card for today so um, yeah a really really nice one so doing a little bit of watercolouring um, using the Nouveau Aqua Pens and I have to say I like I like a lot now if I wanted to I could add white detail to this or any or some doodling but um, I'm not I'm gonna leave it because I think it looks really pretty as it is so thank you so much for joining me I do hope you've enjoyed yourself and I will see you again very very soon in another video but until then please all do take care and happy crafting bye